All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us have a good time together for today. I open early, specifically for those who live in uh, Southeast Asia and uh, far away from us, so we can have time for them before they sleep. Uh, <clears throat> we know that Islam, you know, exists in uh, actually the biggest country where Muslims are exist is Indonesia. Uh, and which make me really sad that Indonesia is a beautiful country and deserves something better. <clears throat> you know, the Indonesian uh, who converted to Islam, they follow a king who was in need of protection, not because he was a believer. It was just an idea. You have many enemies around you and they want to attack you. If you convert to Islam, you will get the protection of the Muslim Sultan around us. So he converted to Islam and then most of those naive people, they follow blindly. But what they convert for, they have no idea. Same as those in India, same as those in the Philippines, they have no idea what Islam is about. And here is the proof. My Skype is open. If there is any one of those countries from Asia, Malaysia, India, whatever, Thailand, any country, Philippine. If you think you have the courage and the knowledge to call, to, to call us and show us one reason, just one reason to believe Islam, I will be happy to hear you. I find Islam is a very demonic and in the same time is a very silly, stupid cult. So I live in this earth and imagine I live in this beautiful Indonesia. And then somebody told me, if you pray in the last few days, because the Prophet says there's a night, it's called the night of Al-Qadr, which nobody knows what it is. Supposedly, it's when Allah, he sent the Quran, as if the Quran was sent in one book in one night. And then because Allah, he sent the Quran in that night, which nobody knows, including the Prophet of Islam, which is very funny, you do not know the date. Because he sent the Quran in that night, if you pray in that night, is better than praying for 84 years. I mean, what is that? How silly, how stupid, how not logical. Is it fair that somebody praying for 84 years, and then one guy, he prayed for one night, he did better? So if you are a Muslim, and you have the courage and the knowledge, please, people from Indonesia, India, Philippines, etc., share the link with your Facebook people so we can get more people here. As you see, we open in special time now just for you, early in the morning for me, so we can share and give you time to be with us live. <clears throat> Uh, we have a lady said her name is Sarah. She said I am a Christian, but love to open Muslim Skins, I'm not sure. What does that mean? What does that mean uh, Sarah <clears throat> what open Muslims skins? Excuse my English. I did not get you <clears throat> uh, for, First of all we love everybody and uh, we as a Christian we've been taught uh, been ordered if to if you want to be a follower of Jesus to love everybody including the Muslims but loving the Muslims is not about giving them hugs is about saving them from going to hell this is how you love people not by giving them hugs so some Christians they turn the love of Jesus to something silly so we love you we love you okay you love him but you don't dare to say to him that you are going to go to hell we love you, but we don't dare to say to you that if you don't follow Jesus, you are not going to be saved. So we love you in, in which way? What does that mean? So if you love, if you are a Christian and you love the Muslims, you love the, the, anyone, then you try your best to save that person you love. So let us not to make the, the word love empty from its meaning. <clears throat> Okay, sir, I get you. Sorry, I'm just asking what, what do you mean? Because many Christians, they use the word love and became empty, you know, like it's not, uh, not what Jesus meant, you know? So loving people is not by giving hugs. 
is not even by agreeing with them imagine you have a son or a daughter and she is taking drugs so you love them for sure so what do you do you say okay take drugs I love you or you do your best to wake them up from the bad practice they do so we as a Christians we should love the Muslims absolutely yes but in a way where we can save them not we agree with them and that you call it love uh, that Jesus reject some who knocks well depend you knock for what if you are coming to Jesus asking him praying for him asking for money so you can uh, <laughs> You know, Jesus said it clearly, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So there's people, they knock at the door of Jesus and they say, Lord, Lord, but their heart is empty and they are fake. So somebody maybe believe in the power of Jesus and he want to gain, he want to just gain the benefit of being following Jesus, not really he's in love with Jesus. It's like somebody, uh, you have a son, he come to visit you only to take money. Because he need you as simple as that not because really he loves you and that is a person which is fake so uh, uh, <clears throat> and it's not for me to tell you to say who is Jesus will reject who is will good accept but for sure as I know from the Bible whoever accept him and believe in him from his heart he is accepted why do the Jews reject the Messiah the fact the Jews did not reject the Messiah that is not true all you all of you including me we are a Christian because of the Jews they brought the Bible to us all the Apostle of Jesus they were Jews so remember that always and the majority major number of the Jews already they are Christians this is why the Jews now they are less than 20 millions so it's not fair to say the Jews rejected the Messiah. <clears throat> so look what we do. We we forget the millions and the millions of Jews who became a Christians and we remember only the Jews who they are not accepting the Messiah. And then we judge all the Jews because those who accepted the Messiah, by the way, still they are Jews. We call them Messianic Jews. All right? So they are Jews. What do you think about a Vicina? I'm not sure what does that mean. I'm not sure what that word means, my friend. <clears throat> uh, happy Eid, Mubarak. Yeah, this is a pagan Eid. And what happy Eid? Worshipping the God who asking people to kill each other? How is can be happy? Let us see how many people get killed yesterday in the Eid. Four uh, in the city of uh, Tripoli in Lebanon. Uh, attack in a mosque in Pakistan. Uh, 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 assassination of a bunch of uh, uh, people in Egypt. Uh, I mean, you go, just watch the news. I mean, happy Eid. Hmm. It's very happy. We'll be happy if people live together in harmony and people don't kill each other. In the month of Ramadan, actually most of the attack, the most aggressive attacks, Muslims, they do, it was in Ramadan. The attack in Israel, it was a Ramadan. The attacks of Muhammad, it was a Ramadan. And, you know, people, they just copy, paste words. They don't know what it's mean. How it can be happy? By the death of people? We have uh, Mr. Parton. In your opinion why every Muslim so hard to use logic about Islam my friend in order to use logic you have first to, uh, to to believe in logic Muslims are not even allowed to believe in something called logic do you know that the one who believe in logic they call him kafir maybe you do not know that so if you are a person who believe in logic according to Islam or a philosophy that's mean you are a kafir you are not a Muslim so what logic so let us make it simple for you. It's not logical to believe in logic in Islam. <laughs> because this is against Islam. When you say the word logic, 
the word itself is not Islamic the belief itself is not Islamic the idea itself is not Islamic therefore it is totally rejected because Islam reject anything is not Islamic and here you see the hypocrisy of Islam Islam reject anything is not practiced by the Prophet Islam forbid Muslims from listening to music watching TV even listening to radio but all Muslims they do all those and not only that Muslims do dance Muslim they have parties and Muslims even they wear skirts and Muslims they go and jump in the beach in the bikini and Muslims they use tens of kilograms of makeup in their faces and women they have perfume and women she take hair from her face which means nobody follow on Islam but don't talk about logic the second you talk about logic they will be upset from you but all the things you do against Islam it's okay are you getting my point you will see a woman she is teaching us about Islam making a speech and she is having like five kilograms of makeup to the point you cannot see even the color of her skin and but and she's telling us how amazing Islam is but Islam says if you wear a makeup like this you are going to go to hell Islam says that the women who put a perfume according to Muhammad she is a prostitute so the Muslims the, the logic of Muslims we say things to you about Islam but we ourselves we don't believe in it because if you believe in it you follow it do we have any Muslim from Indonesia would like to call me any Muslim from Indonesia Philippine Thailand Malaysia please feel free to call me our time today is for you my friends <clears throat> is it true that Prophet Isaac married a minor girl is it true prove it is this true <laughs> I mean I mean you know people are really funny uh, imagine you go to a big store and you stand in the door and each one he leave he says to him is it true that today the the goods is for free <laughs> is it true get in and check get in and check let us see they say things they fool themselves they try to fool you are you a fool are you a fool who believe anything the people they say to you you see when I speak to Muslims I show them everything I say word by word in the screen Who is the big Islamic figure in Indonesia? I don't know. What is the big Islamic figure? There is no figure. You mean a person? Eh. All of them, they are politically motivated, seeking power. They use religion to take over a country, not for the benefit of anything. They don't even believe in Allah. The one who believe in Allah, really, is the one, the naive, the poor one. Those that believe blindly, they have no idea what who is Allah. You ask them a question about Islam, they would tremble in their place. All what they know, Bismillah, Lahman, Lahim, Awuz, Bilahim, Zaytan, Azim, I mean, okay. Ask them a question about what they just said, they do not know. And by the way, there is a Abdul, somebody sent me at, uh, in Skype, saying that this Abdul, uh, uh, he sent a request to debate me in June 29th. And the topic is, is Jesus God? Like the guy, he decided the date, he decided the topic, and that's it. Is Jesus God? <laughs> do you know why they do that? Do you know why they do that? Because they are terrified. He don't want to talk about anything. Is Jesus God? So we cannot debate about if Allah is God? Only about Jesus is God? Okay, you can call me anytime. There's no need for 29th of June. If you are really brave, you can call me now. You can call me tomorrow. You can call me anytime. For me, I do not need to prepare. But maybe for you, you need a one month to prepare. June 29th. What about next year? Do it next year, brother. At least you can print more papers from YouTube and from uh, Google. You go to website 
and you read why Jesus is not God and then you just give me questions one after one. Ten reasons Jesus is not God. First, God is not born. <laughs> Who said to you that God is born? We don't believe in that. The birth of Jesus in this earth is not the time of his existence. This is the time he came to us. But Jesus said, before Abraham I am. So look how silly they are. They want to debate you only if Jesus is God and about the Trinity. This is two topic Muslim don't dare to change, uh, to, to get out of it because they are afraid that you might ask them about the stupid cult of Islam. So is Jesus is God? Yes, Jesus is God. Call me right now. And there is no need to tell us in the 29th of January, of June, sorry. I am here almost every day. You will not miss, you will not miss me. And you can call me right now. So I, I find it very funny when the Muslims, uh, there is a guy, he made an article challenging me from more than 10 years to debate me, but he never show up. I mean, do you see how brave they are? It's just to make an article. I challenge the Christian brands. All of them, they challenge me. I'm here. My Skype is open. Did you see any Muslim who claimed to be a person who have knowledge? He opened his Skype and he challenged people to call. Actually, there's a guy from Philippines. As long as we are, you know, we are saying good morning, Philippine today. His name is Rashid Indesan. Rashid Indesan, he make videos. Where is the Christians? Who want to answer me? Like, uh, you know, Mimi Hijab. Answer me. Show me. Silence me. We challenge him. He never show up. He will never dare to do it. The same as Shabir Ali, the same as the rest of them. Now, this guy, I made a video for him. He did not respond. I made the second video. He did not respond. I posted it in his Facebook. He did not respond. Then we called him at home. What we did? We called him at home. And do you know what he said? Let me let me let me find you the, the, the video. You will not believe it what he said to me. Those are the ones who want to prove is uh, you know and they want to convert you to Islam in Philippines. They are an idiot. They have no the reason he is a trembling in his in, in his bed because he knew he's no match. Let us find the video. And the funny, he said to me, I debated a real American. <laughs> you are not American. <laughs> you are not American. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, not real American. I want to see your name. I want to know your name. We will arrange everything. I debated. I, I will, many, there are at least three times I have experience in Palto. Okay. Okay. You, you give me your. You show me your face. Show me your face. Christian Prince. Give me your face. Christian Prince. Give me are your you getting name. this? CP. We will arrange it. Are you getting this? CP? We will. I will ask the brothers here from Salam TV to arrange everything. Don't dictate me. Who are you, by the way? You have no experience in the debate. The people they don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I heard this, I was dying from laughing. By the way, you have no experience in debate. People do not know you. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. By the way, by the way, you have no experience in debate. Hello? Hello? You have uh, no experience in debate. What's wrong with you? So this is the guy who is a big, make himself like a big guy in the Philippines, challenging the Christian. The second he, you know, he heard my name. Uh, by the way, uh, you don't have experience in debate. How I can debate you? <laughs> and now, not only that, he says, I'm trying to debate him because I wanted to be known. <laughs> you believe it. <laughs> Your beliefs. What 
what is your religion, man? Are you Catholic? L listen, Are listen. Are you born again? Yeah. Are you Punjabicals? Say, what? Why does? Hey, hey, hey. Listen. Is it? Is it? Wait, wait. So you want to debate me, and we don't. We I, I don't even know the topic. Why does CP's face have anything to do with it? Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Look, why, 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 you know, why do you, you know, want to see his face? Mentor, you you, you, you want to no debate right to debate. You have no right to dictate me you, because you want to debate the way you want to debate people. You want to debate okay? his face or you want to debate him? Look, look, I want to debate but because, number one, my method is like this. There will be a pre-debate conference, number one. Number two, after that, we, we, we sign a contract. Sign a contract. Okay. Sign a Number contract. three, at least I know you. I... Guys, you, we sign a contract. We need to sign a contract to debate. Have you ever heard of this? I mean, this guy, he's making the mission impossible. He was making videos, says, who a Christian want to debate me? Why Christians are not responding? And the second we jump in his face, he want to sign the contract. He want to see my face. <laughs> I will, I will know you. I will see your face. I will know you. I never debate why, why, ever, anyone. You why do you want to debate? I do not know. I say, huh? what, Abdul, why do you want to debate? Why do you want to debate his face? You don't want you. You don't need to see his face. Why are you? Why are you to, say, to tell me like that? It is my method. It's not a face. Face. Mm -hmm. It's my yeah, method. Faces don't talk. Yeah. Faces don't talk. Uh, well, well. Uh, you, 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 even the Christian, even the Christian evangelicals you, in YouTube, are you are you saying in this manner? Are you coward? If, like are you manner. coward? Are you a coward? Huh? Are you coward? No, you are the one who coward. No, you no. have no experience in the debate. I have no experience you in the debate. Experience in the debate. You have experience in the debate. You, you are new fight. Do you have experience in the debate? Do you? You have experience. CP, do, you want to say anything? Do you have experience? No, I don't have experience. <laughs> what does this have to do with debating me? If I don't have experience, that's good for you. You will win. Where is your... Where is, well, you want to talk? You, uh, you want where, where is your... <laughs> Let me talk to him, Canon. Mr. Uh, Rashid, listen. My name is a Christian prince. I am a book author. My first book is called The Deception of Allah. My second book is called Quran and Science in Depth. I debated thousands and thousands of Muslims, scholars, sheikhs, real sheikhs, not like you. And you are making excuses. I'm using Pal Talk, not TV, to see my face. So we are waiting for you in the chat room right now. If you are really brave, remember, I cannot hear you, by the way. Uh, if you are really brave, or what we are asking you to do, bring your knowledge. I don't want your face. I don't care for your face. This is your face. You can use it for a beauty queen, for gays and lesbian. I am not interested in your face. I am interested in your knowledge and in your answers. And the case, the same for me. All what you want is my answers. You want to see how experienced I am? Ask everybody. Type my name in Google. You will see. I am the nightmare of Islam. And you are shaking because you notice that you are no match. I did not accuse you of anything. I'm stating facts. You make a challenge for the Christians to answer you, and you did not respond even to my video because you know you cannot. You know that I gave a string, a stronger proofs, and you are no match. However, we have hundreds of people here waiting for you, Christians and Muslims, and people will be so disappointed if you don't show up. The face excuse is just an excuse. People here are laughing because you do not need to debate me with my face. You need to debate with my answers. If you are really powerful, you will you will win. Correct, guys, people who they are listening. If he is really a true scholar, he will win with my face, without my face. Who care? You will make victory for Allah. Are you saying that you, your Allah will not support you unless I come to you with my face? Are you saying you are guaranteeing losership in this battle because my face is not showing? Nonsense. Everybody is laughing. So listen, I will give you the microphone back. I cannot hear you right now because we are using the chat room to speak to, speak to you. I challenge you. We are waiting right now. And I gave you time in advance to prepare yourself. However, you can bring with you as many as you want. Ask, call all the Muslims you have in your town, even in Saudi Arabia. 
I am the Christian Prince. I am the nightmare of Islam and none of you can debate me. And this is why you are trying to find an excuse so you can run away. However, we are more than welcome to prove that you are really a scholar. You are more than welcome to prove that you know more than me. You are more than welcome to prove me wrong. And you are more than welcome to prove Islam to be right. However, I'm going to do the same. I am going to prove that you are no scholar and you have no knowledge in Islam and you do not know even how to read Arabic, even though you act as if you are reading Arabic in the video. So bring with you whatever you want, whoever you want. And I promise you, we will treat you with respect in the chat room. Nobody will call you a name. We will call you Sheikh with all the respect. So be the man. We are waiting. The mic is yours. You're a coward. You're a coward. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. You heard CP. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's your mic. No, no. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Your mic. Speak. Mm, I'm here. But, but, but you see, listen, listen. If you are really a good Christian, you will not be like this. I even, I even doubt if you are a Christian, really. I have a lot of uh, friends here who are Christian, but I'm not. You see, if you are a good Christian, you don't get Islam busted. This is the good Christian. Good Christian is somebody who does not know Christianity and they do not know Islam. This was a good Christian for them. They make fun for you, make fun of you 24 hours, seven days a week for being a Christian. How stupid you are. You believe in Jesus that is God. You are stupid. Blah, blah, blah. And the second you start getting them busted, it's the same second they say to you, you are not good a Christian. Why you are not good a Christian? Hmm? Why you are not good a Christian, huh? Why? Is that what Jesus told you? Huh? So they don't want you to listen to what Jesus says to you in the Bible all the time, 24 hours, seven days a week. The second you start the spanking is the same second they say, oh, you know, he's not a good Christian. I'm not going to talk to you. What a Mickey Mouse show. And not only that, later he says to, to us, he debated a real American. You believe it? He debated a real American. Mean. Are you sure? A real American? Yes, brother. He debated a real American. You. Uh, there's, there's an evangelical, yeah. a missionary, yeah. American evangelicals. Why don't you debate? Every yeah. week we talk. Why, why don't you debate? You can see it in you you, you, YouTube. Are you a coward? Uh, don't you want to debate? But at least, no, you are, you're a coward. You're the one who coward. You, come on, people debate. know me. Well, come people on. He people wants know debate. my name. I'm not hiding everything. Why are you not debating? They know my things. I just want to see your face, man. Why you want to not debate? Just give me you your name, man. Face. We will arrange everything. No, 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 I will no, no, ask no, no, no. At the end, I said to him, okay, you know what? Just for your sake, just for you. I never did that before. Honestly, you will hear it in the video. I said, come and I will open my camera for you. You believe it? Honestly, I said that in the video. I said, okay, come. Just to show everybody that he is just making excuse. I know he will not come anyway. Come and I will open the camera. He ran away. I'm taking orange everything. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no,
bring bring the best of you people they will laugh at you after this we are going to post it in youtube do you understand the mic is yours Mike. I think he hung up. He hung up. He hung up. He was bragging about seeing my face for an hour, and then when we showed him, okay, come, and they will show you my face. And by the way, I'm not showing my face for his benefit because he might have an attack. Because now, look, you you debate me, you have my knowledge, and then you have my face. I mean, this is horrible. Two things, two hit in the head at the same time. So I'm saving you actually by much by not showing my face. Actually, if you see my face alone, you will not. It will be like a rabbit who do not know what to say. Why well, you want to see my face? Me myself, I don't have a mirror at home. I get scared. Once I went to the elevator, I saw myself, and I, 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 I came out from the elevator. I said, "Who is that?" Why well, you want to see my face, my friend? And look what the Muslims they do. They talk too much about debating you, especially if it's me. And then they spend 10 hours to talk about let us debate how to debate and then after you debate for 10 hours how to debate about the debate they don't do it like the guy yesterday the Indian guy when I say to him Aisha she was nine years old when she went to the house of the her husband he says she was six when I say she was six he says it's nine just say anything, they will say the opposite. Say it's night, they say it's day. And this is why I have to, to I, I don't debate Muslims, I play with them. A, a Muslim is like a kid. You say to him, this is a tree, he says it's a grass. You say it's a grass, he says tree. And here we go. Who is a Muslim when I call me? Especially if you are from Indonesia or from India or from Philippines or from Malaysia or from whatever Anyone especially those who are done, you know Like this guy is from where I think I am assuming he is maybe from India or Pakistani Sheikh Asrar Rashid hmm. He want to debate me in June 29th Sheikh and he called himself Sheikh Oh boy. Uh, let me introduce myself, uh, uh, Bishop uh, Christian Brands. Well, you call yourself Sheikh. Who are you? What do you mean, Sheikh? In, in the Muslim world, anyone he grew a beard as a Sheikh. If this is the case, I am Sheikh since I was nine years old. Because since nine years old, I have a long beard. I, they used to kick me out from the classroom because they think I'm an adult. What make you Sheikh? Hmm? Anyone he grow a beard, he go to the mosque, he get a salary, and he pray in the front. They call him a sheikh. Yeah. <clears throat> learn how to speak Indonesian. Yeah, I'm going to go to Indonesia, stay there for maybe a year so I can learn Indonesian. But the problem is in Indonesian, the food is good, my friend, and I'm getting going to get fat there. I don't like that. They have a very nice food there, and uh, and Indonesia is a beautiful country. I might not come back, you know. Then in what? What I will do next? Like, you want me to marry an Indonesian? Mean that's it. I will stay there. Look how beautiful this country is. Beautiful people. <clears throat> and then what? You want to have like a Indonesian Christian Prince Junior? One, two, three, four, five. We are Arab, my friend. In ten years, I will have twenty uh, children. Twin, 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 twin. You know, and then we open uh, at uh, like 40, uh, 44 uh, YouTube channels. And my kid, you will see my kid. He is like one day old. He's saying, "Any, any Abdul, any Abdul would debate me." So one Christian prince is enough for now. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us and show us something good about the cult of Islam? Hmm? <clears throat> no, I know Indonesian people are very, very nice people. To actually, uh, actually, all you know, I, I love uh, all of Asia. Um, you know, and actually, I love their food too. Um, 
now there is things in everywhere you might like you might not like and the same as in america there's things you like you don't like same as in the middle east things you like you know you don't like but generally speaking uh you know people they are they are very beautiful and, and when i talk about beautiful i'm not talking really about looking uh even though they are good looking but i'm talking about how beautiful they are they are good people they have a good heart and they deserve better than the cult of islam and that's why really i wanted uh, uh to do my best to speak to people who they are from india from pakistan from indonesia so they might learn something which is will be useful for them about the cult of islam uh, <clears throat> and here we go we offer any muslim from those countries why you guys you don't ask uh, from your country the ones i mean indonesia or malaysia whatever why don't ask a guy who claimed to be a big shot like have a long beard to come and debate me that would be wonderful and then let all indonesian or indian or you know zakir naik we offer him to debate me he said i need to bring with me two thousand people my friend, I have a hard time to pay for my airline ticket. You want me to bring 2,000 people with me? And who is the crazy you want to go with me? 2,000 people. And who is going to pay for them? 2,000 people will fly with Christian Prince. Why? He is Noah. I will take the ship of Noah. Even the ship of Noah will not fit. I mean, they make it mission impossible. 2,000 people. What about uh, what about 1,999? Is that okay? Hmm? Yeah, but please don't talk against uh, Brother Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik is a special person for me. I learned a lot from him, brother. You ask Zakir Naik about any topic, he knows everything. Anything. They told Zakir Naik, why you, why you are against teaching Christianity in, uh, in the school? He said, brother, first of all, Muslim is the only one, other example, we have a school. And then they want to tell you mathematics. And then you bring somebody, he want to teach you that one plus one plus one is equal to one. This is the wrong mathematics. So we cannot allow that. I mean, look at the, look at the logic, man. I mean, that's it. We are done. How we can answer this? How you want to bring a Christian? He says to you, one plus one plus one is equal to one. Mathematics. Very, very smart. Hmm. And who said that the Christian believe in one plus one plus one? You idiot. It is you who do not have any kind of mathematics. By the way, guys, do Allah knows mathematics? Hmm? No, I cannot call him. Last time I called him, he swear by Allah, if I call him again, he will take a shower naked. But and that's really scary. Until now, he's doing it with his clothes. So, do we have any uh, any Muhammadan from Indonesia and you know from Philippines, from uh, uh, Malaysia, from any uh, you know India? Would like to call me my skype is open my friend if you like to call me please feel free hmm? anyone you know always when the muslims they reject uh, christianity let me show you some some uh, some of the logic of muslims just uh, some all right Actually, I don't want to say the logic of Muslims, the logic of Allah. If we open the first chapter in the Quran, just to show you how silly this religion is. Allah said in the name of Allah. Hmm? What? Allah, he said in the name of Allah. Who is that? And then Allah, he says, the most beneficent, the most merciful. And then he says, all the prize be to Allah. Thanks to Allah. Allah saying all of this to himself. That's crazy. I mean, this is the first page of the Quran. The first page is a comedy. And then Allah, he says, you alone we worship. 
a Muslim he might say to you this is a prayer show me where it says that this is a prayer does it say pray like this anywhere it says in the Quran when Allah he says to Muhammad say it says say قول. I don't see anywhere it says say do you see it so what kind of uh, Quran this Quran is how we can believe in this this is the first page what about the second page The chapter of the cow. Don't remind me, please. Uh, I, I was speaking to thousands of Indian uh, Hindu, and I told them, "Do you know, brother, that the biggest chapter in the Quran, brother, is the cow chapter?" All those Hindus became Muslims after two seconds. I will never do that again. Big mistake. The biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter, and why we call it the cow? Anyone knows why we call it the cow? Why it's called the cow? Who's a Muslim? Want to tell us? What is the secret behind calling the chapter the cow? Hello. Hello. Anyone? Any Muslim? According to the Quran, if you have a dead body, you can beat him by cow beef and he come back to life. And actually, hold on, the Muslims, they made an article about science in the Quran. Hold on. <clears throat> Just to show you the deception. <laughs> guys you will not believe it what I'm going to show you now I'm afraid that's many of you might convert to Islam immediately hold on I don't know if I should show you that or not I'm afraid hmm. look at this look at this scientific miracles in the Quran heart massage heart massage where in the Quran, Quran says heart massage. Brother, are you sure? Yes, brother. A brother, again, brother, are you sure? Brother, I'm very, very sure. Many mirac miraculous features in the Quran prove it is the word of Allah. Facts are revealed in the verses through scientific facts, the descriptions of the past. And the mathematical codes that could never have been known to anyone. I feel I'm crying already. Okay, go to the topic. Hmm. Quran cannot be the work of any human being. One of the verses that may be referred. I like it when the Muslim they say maybe. <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer. Did I say maybe? What do you mean, maybe, you idiot liar? Either it is referring or it is not maybe this is the science of maybe nice to meet you by the way i'm going to open university and if you study in my school maybe you will learn something and if you graduate from my university maybe you will be uh, someone have knowledge and if you study in my school maybe you will turn into a bit donkey i mean what maybe is that science or not okay this is the science of maybe Referring to, to future verses 73 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Okay. Remember. Remember when you killed someone and violently accused each other of it. And Allah brought out what you were hiding. We said, hit him. Hit him with part of it. In that way, Allah give life to the dead, and He show you His signs that helpfully will you understand. Chapter uh, two, Bakara, mm, uh, and verse number seventy-two, seventy-three. Okay. Explain, please, the science, please. We are desperately among the meaning of the word Arabic term dara bibadiha. Translated with part of it in the verse above, someone or some people in the context of the meaning, the verse may be again, maybe 
again maybe okay science of maybe maybe a difference to heart massage you idiot what heart massage the guy is dead they killed him they slew him heart massage the man violently was slaughtered the heart massage for somebody he have a heart attack I looked and they will say to you is striking his assist by uh, from above which make it possible to restart his heart it is a stop beating Allah knows the truth the person who whom massage administrated and the selectors regard regard me didn't you lose good consciousness is and the inspiration of the heart and the one that begin the damn the body card and the damn one in the arm and the arm and the body and the arm and the body okay but the guy the guy is not dead by heart attack you see how they try to fool you the Quran is speaking about a fiction story about a guy being slaughtered and we bring some beef and we hit him with it not in his chest hit him all over his body do you see in the verse where it says hit him in his chest and the guy was killed by a sword what does this have to do with heart massage do you see how maybe Quran is speaking about science and by the way in America brother if you go in the FBI department in the first floor you see a big freezer do you know why brother because anyone he died they hit him with beef and he come back to life and he said the one who killed him and he died again because this was the first in the story saying the guy was killed they want to know who killed him Allah told them bring some beef and hit him brother is not waking up beat him more a brother and by the way some scholar they say they hit him with the tail of the cow some they say with the tongue some they say they know they will hit him with what anyway it's beef just let it go hmm? what if we go and see the interpret interpretation of uh, of the verse shall we Okay, let's go to the interpretation. Hmm. Oh boy. Maybe. And now, supposedly, they are assuming that you are a donkey who will accept the science of maybe. Okay. This is Ibn Kathir. Let us see. <clears throat> so we said, strike him, the dead man, with pieces of the cow, meaning any part of the cow will produce the miracle if they struck the dead man with it. Mm. Okay. But they killed who? Who? How the man died? They killed him. They slaughtered him. They killed him by a sword. This is not about heart attack, you liar. What massage? You can bring somebody who was killed by a heart massage. Huh? The holy chapter here is about a murder, not a guy who died by heart attack. So look how they fabricate stories. And then they brought him Allah brought him to life and this is how Allah he brought people to life by beating them by beef so are we except expecting in the judgment day Allah will import billions of tons of beef from uh, New Mexico and he will use it to uh, bring us back to life and this is how Allah he bring people back to life by beating them by beef so Allah <coughs> his uh, his power is limited to beef like Allah and beef is like that goes together hmm? this is how Allah he <coughs> let us drink something uh, this is how Allah he bring people to 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 life let me get some water hold on <coughs>
All right. I brought <clears throat> water. It, it is beefy free. <clears throat> so, how we can believe in this? But here, by the way, you notice how they fabricate stories just in order to fool you. No dignity, no honesty. They are willing to make anything, any this to say anything, just to make you a believer. So they make it from a stupid story in the Quran, suddenly it became science. Suddenly, it is a science. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Hmm? Anyone? <clears throat> any Abdul? All the claim of scientific miracles is nothing but a lie. And we challenge any Muslim, by the way, to prove to us one of them to be truthful. Just one. And by the way, why Allah he need beef to, to resurrect somebody from death? Yesterday I bought a ground beef from Walmart. Can I use it? Like if I hit him with a can. Hey, by the way, if you have, if you are at home, uh, always get extra beef at home. Uh, God forbid somebody from your family die. You hit him with beef, you bring him back to life. Actually, I'm going to open a clinic. It's called Beef Beating. If you have somebody die, you bring him to me. I beat him with beef, he come back to life. I mean, this is very easy. Do not need a degree. Hmm? <coughs> But the problem is, if I live in India and there is a, an area which is of Hindus, how they will allow me to bring beef? They will beef me before I get the beef. Unbelievable. Can you call me, uh, Hassan? Uh, Hassan, are you the are you the person who left Islam before? He called me before he left Islam, right? Are you? Okay, my friend. Let us see. <laughs> Hello. Hello, CP. How are you, my friend? I'm fine, and you? I'm not fine because <laughs> why? I I don't have beef. I have only ground uh, ground beef. What we would do? <laughs> how many uh, um, uh, um, uh, how many uh, hairs uh, do you have? <laughs> how many what? How many uh, how many hairs do you have? Oh, how many hairs? I, that's a lot, man. This I cannot count them. Trust me, a lot. You know. Yeah, I remember. Like, I know, I know. But are, can, you, are, are you going to talk I about uh, about uh, Musa's who refused to die? You know uh, who I am. You know, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Are you the guy who left Islam before here? He called me before or a different person? Oh, was that? Uh, uh, that uh, Shia guy. Um, oh, the Shia, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You are a Shia now from Lebanon know, uh, or from Iraq? Hmm? You are from Lebanon or Iraq? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't okay, want those, to disclose much I information about myself. I, I understand. No problem. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? So yeah, now. Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure what to believe. You know, mm. uh, after uh, uh, after those uh, those two last calls, like um, yeah, yeah. I remember, you're you, you a decide, Christian, but you decide to leave Islam. But uh, I, I, you know, because if, uh, forgive me, really, there's a lot of people no, who no, call me no and, and leave Islam. So it's hard to remember. Did you did you, did you became a Christian or not yet? I think you did not, right? No, no, I'm just uh, uh, asking you what, uh, to know uh, uh, if you remember or not. Uh, 
it's it's actually not a problem but yeah but no uh, i'm i'm actually really confused now i am uh, i'm searching for the truth but i don't know it's so difficult like uh, nothing makes sense for me uh, not any religion you know hmm. what Even, you know when uh, we say atheism, <coughs> when we say really make, when we say makes sense what makes sense what does that mean i mean like uh, logical for example mm. if i think about islam yeah it's not logical that um, For, forget about islam islam is you know, christianity because, because, well, because you left islam just, now uh, briefly i will mention it for example about uh, islam that uh, that the christianity um, became um, uh, corrupted and allah didn't uh, uh, protect his books and the mm. Torah and Jill that that doesn't make sense and uh, Jesus is is uh, is uh, uh, born from a virgin but uh, somehow he is uh, he is not uh, the mightiest or the or the best uh, of uh, of mankind in, mm. uh, in Islam yeah. Muhammad is higher but the, he is the only one who was born from a virgin so that doesn't make sense but for example in christianity uh, it does make sense because uh, he is indeed according to christianity the uh, yeah the uh, how do you know the word he is god they believe so it makes sense that only he has a miraculous birth so okay yeah th that's for <coughs> islam but for the rest Christianity, Judaism, I don't know. It's so Christianity does not make sense to you too. Like um not really. Uh it makes more sense than uh, Islam, but because uh they believe in the in the Torah, uh, right? It is it is not uh, uh, corrupted according to you like uh, it's you have the, the same uh, bible as the jews maybe uh, maybe a different interpretation but it is not like yeah uh, we don't accept it like uh, muslims so, so what so, what yeah. prevent you from uh, becoming a christian what what is the what is the issue with believing christian? i don't know i mean um yeah god is almighty but why is there so much evil in this world like uh, god is almighty his uh, his uh, mercy is uh, complete uh, his uh, uh, yeah. okay let me let me let me uh, have a little uh, talk with you you know but if, if uh, you woke up today my friend every, you know? hassan hassan you woke up in the morning okay you make your tea you drink your coffee and then there is you start you want to do like some activities as a human you know that you have energy when you want to burn so when we say we, we speak about evil why we blame always the evil for god and we don't remember that we are the one who do the evil not god so if i you know we can start my day me and you in different way i drink my coffee I do something good to help people like now i'm I, you know i give my time for people to speak to them or I can go and take a gun and start shooting people. So, who is the one who told you to do that? Like, did the God of the Christians say, "Take your gun and shoot people around you"? No. So, if if the God to blame, then if He says that, then yes, we can say, "Well, we have to blame God because this guy he did it because, you know, his God told him to do that. It was God, whoever that God is, regardless. But if it's not, then we cannot blame God for it." We blame the man or the women who did evil. So when we do evil, we will be taken accountable for our evil. And you know the, the, the weird about us that when something good happened to us, we claim it, okay, I was a smart, I was successful, I was etc. But when something wrong happened to us, we blame always God. But the fact the earth is full of a human who do evil to each other and God has nothing to do with it. And I'm talking about the true God, not Allah. So human being, you see, when you go to the wood, uh, you are more secure if there is nobody around you, a human. You would be more worried if a human around. 
you will not be worried too much about animals because animals if they attack they attack to eat human they can attack just to kill you know for to, to do evil right so uh, uh, you will be you will sleep more comfortable if you have a dog next to you but not a human you do not know because you don't trust him but you trust a dog so we don't want to blame evil for God and the fact it is that we are the one doing evil and then you know we we make it it's God you see Muhammad in the Quran if you remember there is a verse that says wa ramaytu wa innam Allahu rama you remember this verse <coughs> no okay I will show it to you in the screen the Quran make you feel that you are not guilty for killing and murdering and which which mean Quran promote murdering in the same time make you believe that you are a good person so if we go in the screen let us show you in the screen all right in chapter 8 verse number 17 as an example it says the following you kill them not but Allah killed them actually it says you can read any translation you want slew them kill them whatever so look what the what the evil Muhammad he did this is not God this is the evil Muhammad he made the Muslims believe that when you slaughter a human being it's not you who killed him it's Allah and that will make you feel better after in doing after doing your murder because it's not you who killed him it's not you who throw your arrow it's Allah who throw it it's not you who slaughter by the knife it's Allah who used the knife so a cowardly teaching that God supposedly he can kill but yet he will use you to kill he cannot kill himself so now Muhammad he hit two stones in or two birds in one stone he made you kill and then he made you a professional criminal who don't feel for your victims because now you don't feel guilty I did not kill him it's Allah who killed him so you go and slaughter more and more people in Christianity we don't believe in this garbage the one who lived by the sword will die by the sword which means you kill you will be killed so what okay, we but, uh... Uh, what about uh, uh, earth, uh, earth uh, uh, quakes, for example, or uh, this yeah, is the nature of the earth. No, disasters hmm. like uh, uh, Japan or um, yeah, you know those, those uh, disasters. Like my friend, why my friend. Okay, did this happen? Hey, let me. Let God me. is uh, Almighty. No, he the can, earth. No, actually, he can stop. Uh, no, 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 evil. No, no right? this is not evil. No, earthquake. Earthquake, earthquake have nothing to do with evil unless God is doing it in purpose to punish somebody but earthquake is it something natural happen actually to keep the earth healthy actually if the earthquake happen in this earth it's mean the earth is dead and we will die so the earth having earthquake it to avoid to be explored like a bomb same as volcano see imagine if we don't have volcano and then the pressure the pressure is built up build up build up and then the whole earth will explode we will the earth became like a bomb explode like pieces so volcano earthquake happened to keep the earth alive and healthy same time you as a human being you should use your brain why you want to go and live in an earthquake area and you build house from stones build it from material which will not really kill you if an earthquake happened so as an example in california they have a lot of earthquake human being need to learn that this area I live in has earthquake because of the location not because uh, anything if you go a different place there's no earthquake in California there's uh, so every area is different you live in an area you choose the area nobody forced you to choose it you don't like the earthquake area go don't don't stay there so you inhibitate an area have earthquake and then you complain about earthquake why you do that you don't like it go to a different place same time build your house from material which earthquake cannot hurt you if you make it from wood 
then there's no concrete will fill in the top of your head or if you make it from concrete but you make it in the right way today we have engineering etc so earthquake will not really do harm in Japan every day they have 2,000 an average of 2,000 earthquake a day many of them they don't feel them and a few of them they feel them but that have nothing to do with God okay uh... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, See, this is I'm in evil, uh, killing and yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, killing like God is <coughs> Almighty. So why doesn't He stop all those uh, all those uh, killings uh, happening? You know? Why He will stop it? Why? Uh, why He will stop it? Muslims. No, no. Why? Why He? Why you want him? Islam. Okay. Why you want Him to stop it? Because His uh, no His no mercy is. Uh, complete is no, perfect. No, no, it's still because is no, perfectly. All right, you see, uh, merciful. What right? about what about Jesus? Jesus himself, he was murdered, correct? He was murdered according it, to Christianity. Yes, yes, he did nothing. Okay, this is our God himself. He was murdered. He did not stop it. Imagine. So, you know, you are going to be taken accountable for your act, and this is the point of all belief. If you. If, if God he involved in telling you what to do and forcing you what to do then what the point of uh, there is a reward and there is a punishment so the one who got killed in Christianity is not uh, is not his blood is not gone for nothing I you know they they killed all the apostle of Jesus God did not intervene they killed them they tortured them they feed them even to to animals they feed them and still the Christian they see themselves dying and still they believe in Jesus they did not say what you are saying why because simply uh, uh, that is not evil for them yes they are doing evil but death is not the end death it might be actually your ticket for something better so yes he did evil to me but I will get a better reward from the evil he did to me they can kill the body but our life is not based on the body only we believe in an eternity and eternity you know life in earth is short like yesterday you were a kid tomorrow you are old and the day after you are dead extremely short you will not believe it you know yesterday I was uh, uh, eight years old today I'm 17 you know we are Arab. Yeah, okay but we go in uh, different direction. still yeah. <laughs> I don't know it's so okay uh, uh, you have uh, Buddhism uh, Hinduism then why Christianity only Every, uh, every no, I'm not saying to you Christianity only. No, claims to be, yeah, he claims go. to have the truth. So, okay, why not? No, Buddhism, it's... Hinduism, mm. but it's not about Christianity only, my friend. It's you, God, He gave you uh, 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 opportunity to take decisions, and there is opportunity to choose what do you want. You want Hinduism, okay, take Hinduism, you want Christianity, take it. But as you said, everyone believes that He is the right one, but still, it's you. Who will take a decision so let us say we have a we have a bus a bus stations full of buses there's many buses many direction and every bus promise you okay you go on this bus etc but god he gave you a lot of opportunity to find out who is the one who bring the truth so when you want to believe in something you have to examine that thing not only just say okay there's many options i choose one you have to choose and you have to be smart and you will be responsible for your decision all what life is about decision the first thing in the morning when you cross the street you have to make decision look right look left otherwise somebody will hit you even though he don't want to kill you so life is about decision when you get married you know you might make a good decision you might make a bad decision but when it's come to believe there is tons of evidence will lead you into something which is that belief so you have to examine those evidence the same as Islam there's many believe in Islam but I have actually examined, but I get so confused. I have uh, looked at Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, Christianity also, and Islam, uh, of course, uh, even atheism, no religion, humanism, but mm. I don't know. It's, uh, I, can't, I can't find an answer to why, uh, why I am here and uh, that it uh, that it really I, makes sense. I advise you, know, you Hassan. Uh, what Hassan, the goal is? I advise you. Everything. I advise you. First, you have you have to reach a point where you want to believe in God or not. 
Okay. So if you decide there's I no God. I believe in God. Okay. I believe in so God. if you believe in God, I will make it easier for you. What about you pray to God? Don't name him. Pray to him. Say, God, help me. Where I should go? Pray from your heart. And I believe that God, he will answer you. The true God, he will. he's there. So uh, uh, as long you don't, you are not an atheist and you believe that God is exist, then let us ask this God who is exist, whoever he is, to help us. He will help you. You know, he will. For me, yeah. this atheism is... uh, doesn't make sense, you know, atheism, because I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not it about making sense. Like a, it's, a, it's not uh, about like make, making coincidence. sense. It's not about we making exist sense only, see? From nothing, we, we suddenly came to existence. I don't know. Hmm. Let me, let me ask that you. That doesn't make sense what, for me. Uh, so. When we talk about make sense, I would, I will, I will ask you. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of a, of, a, of a family, they have a child who this child hurt his parents badly? Maybe he stole their money, even maybe he killed them. Maybe even he dumped them in the street after they spent all their money on him. There's a lot of people do that, right? But doesn't there make, are, yes. doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. So uh, our life is full of things, does not make sense. But it's not the reason really to accept or to reject. It's what is right. So I reject not to be good to my parents because this is wrong not what makes sense actually it make more sense to be selfish because okay why i want to spend my money in somebody uh, okay they gave birth to me so what here we go uh they, they were having sex together in the bed enjoying each other and now they have me so i can give my sense the own my own logic but i will reject that because what makes sense what makes sense based on selfishness is you keep your money for yourself you don't give it to your parents why you want to give it to them you are a different person you worship yourself so it makes sense based in what you believe it not makes it does not make sense if you are a person who is selfish why somebody like uh, somebody he made a donation for me okay it doesn't make sense he should keep his money for himself i mean this guy he did not find his money in the street why is giving the money to someone he don't even know? That doesn't make sense. So it makes sense or does not make sense. It depends on you how you think. So for me, I mean, yes, okay, you are uh, you are uh, right uh, mm. on this one. Uh, for me, okay, uh, yes, uh, true. Like for me, it doesn't make sense. So what now? Uh, for example, no, but you have to you have to deal yeah. with the logic you uh, you are coming you know with because as I said, you are coming what does not make sense. Because you don't want to see the other side of the story, you see. Like when I see the moon, and the moon uh, have light re reflection, and then it does not make sense if you say to me that the other side of the moon is dark because I didn't see that. So, but does not mean, um, you know, it's it's wrong to believe that the other moon side is dark, but it does not make sense because I didn't see it. So, it, what makes sense, it might be wrong too. This is what my point. <clears throat> so True, it's, yes, yes. it's not about I, uh, just making I agree. sense. <clears throat> I agree. It does not make sense to say to me that the sun does not set because I see it every day. I see it with my own eyes. It's set, but the fact it does not. So uh, uh, sense is something you 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 sense it the way you want to sense it. So when somebody he is, we say he is in love. It doesn't make sense that the guy he is going crazy to marry this girl. Like what? She is the only girl in this world. Maybe she is not even good looking. Yet he is crazy about her. It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense to him. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. We okay. need to we need to examine what we think is making sense for us, and we need to uh, give ourselves a chance to see the other side of of the story, which is making sense and which is not. So it does not make sense that God He created us. No, it makes sense, you know, because life is really good. But it's us who is, doesn't make sense that us making it ugly. It doesn't make sense that a guy is walking in the street, he see an old woman, and he snatch his her, her back and he drag her behind him, and even he, he he might even kill her. But that makes sense actually for him, for he is a criminal. He have a criminal mentality, so he decide to be selfish. He decide to take what is not his. For you, he is an idiot. He is a criminal. He is an ugly person. So every human he justify what is sense for him as he wish. But here always we need to find a true balance. What is really makes sense for Reed. 
so what makes sense is to love you were talking about evil what about Jesus says love your enemy that alone does not make sense what do you mean love my enemy how I can love my enemy somebody want to kill me you say to me love him so that does not make sense but if you think about it it make a lot of sense because two evil will not make the world better but somebody love and somebody hate that one who hate him might even change his heart because look I, I'm, I'm beating them I'm killing them and look they are praying praying for me that might change him to be a better person different person so it makes sense to be a person in love it doesn't make sense to be a person of hate so it's a fight between evil and good and the God of good is the one who teaches us to love and that is Jesus and the rest they are teaching us to kill each other so now we have to make decision which one you want the one who will bring nothing but evil or the one who bring love to this earth you see if the if the whole world practice one sentence of Christ which is love your enemy imagine this this earth will be different different earth. this will be heaven we spend in America trillions of dollars India Pakistan and they are poor countries I mean all of those countries are poor yet they spend a lot of money in war you know equipments when this money can be spent to feed their countries build the schools have a better jobs people they can rejoice with the money they have the money but they spend it in the wrong place why because everybody is worried about the evil will be done to him by his neighbor why because nobody love and love is missing so if we practice one sentence of Christ teaching all of us in this earth no kidding no thieves no hate no war no army is needed love enemy love your enemy there's no enemy if everybody love his enemy there's no enemy left so we need to ask ourselves first who is the one if we follow can change our life for better can make me a better person and for me I say to you that is Jesus and just one sentence is enough you see the whole Bible in one sentence love your enemy who can come with better than this that's it well, hey, okay, uh, you're a uh, you're a wise uh, person. <laughs> I have to admit, actually, yeah, it's you're right. It's uh, deep what you teach. I haven't uh, thought uh, about it like how you uh, say it, but um, yeah, okay. But uh, uh, what is your opinion about? Uh, uh, Hinduism and Buddhism like I'm just curious uh, you know for me I believe all people they need Christ to be saved it doesn't matter even the Jews who have the Bible who have the Torah still without Jesus they are not saved so anyone not only the Hindus anyone who don't believe in Christ you know they you know they need Jesus and by the way for people well, in the chat uh, but, but just a second please please admins those who okay. they are in the chat is speaking in their own language it's okay today we are live on air for people from Pakistan India Indonesia etc so please let them speak in their language no problem all right no problem yes my friend go ahead will they be uh, destroyed what will uh, what will um, um happen with me if i if i die and uh, yeah and i uh, and i uh, don't uh, and i don't believe in uh, jesus okay. but um i'm a yeah i'm a i'm a good uh, uh, i'm a good person hmm. having good uh, deeds and uh, you see uh, i'm sorry actually uh, uh, english is it's okay uh, it's okay no problem it's not my mother tongue okay. I, uh, I, I struggle with my yeah hassan I'm listen nervous yeah. uh, also it's um, all right okay wait listen there is a there i mean uh, if a, i hmm. if i die everyone and i'm a i'm a uh, i'm a good person but i didn't believe in uh, in uh, jesus but i didn't kill anyone or hmm. Or commit major major crimes. Then you see, I believe what will what yeah, let, will let, let me, let me happen, let me uh, happen to me. I believe God Hell, like my eternal uh, eternal uh, Hassan, punishment. Hassan, let me, let me Why? Uh, I believe that God is about justice, and I believe that God will be justice with you. I don't. I cannot tell you what will happen to you. 
but I can tell you that you are not saved in which way in that you will not be in the kingdom of God but what would God would do with you as you said you did not kill you did not you know harm people you did not but that will not really clean clean you from all the, because at the end of the day we are we commit sin so we might think that we are really good people but we are not you see I don't claim that I'm a good person I will never claim that because there's nobody there's no human is a good person there's nobody so all of us we are sinners but we think that we are good you know you, you wish to have things is not yours you you might be look at women and you 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 desire her this is all is is a, according to the book is sin but you think it's okay you know so in your book you think you are fine you are doing nothing but in the book of god no no uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, i mean uh, compared with uh, yeah. With those, so, so what we do? Those, uh, okay. Criminals. You see, you, you are you are uh, doing now like the same as Allah. People that, uh, you are, that you are uh, doing, torture. You, know, yeah, you are like, doing the same as Allah. Like Look what Allah did. Look what Allah did. You killed them not. But Allah, but, hold on. You killed them not, but Allah killed them. So now what I do, I compare myself with somebody more disgusting from me, and that will make me feel better. So I do bad things, but my things is not like those. I mean, I'm not doing bad things, but still you did. So. You are you are you think you are better, but at the end of the day, dirt is dirt, clean is clean. So you have less dirt, okay? I have less dirt. So now both of us we have less dirt, but still, but still, both of us we are dirty. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if if you say I have less dirt, doesn't mean you are clean, my friend. So me as a Christian, when I say I'm a Christian, does not mean I'm saying I am better than you. Who said that? But because now we I have, understand. Uh compare uh, compare you with with uh, for example uh, Saddam uh, Saddam Hussein or uh, you see um, okay again, uh, again. Hitler no, there's no. no comparison right I mean hmm. I mean the, that there's no comparison I have uh, uh, I have uh, sins I have hmm. uh, I have uh, committed uh, uh, wrong wrong things but it is uh, it is nowhere uh, comparable with, yeah, no, 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 with those uh, this is, you criminals. See, you remember, those, I told you, you remember, uh, I told cruel you, person, you no, know, I told you that always we justify things. Look what you just say, okay? I am better than this guy, he killed many people, I killed no one. But the fact you are not, you are not because he did many evil things, but you just said that I did commit sin too. So you are just being now, you are acting as if you are God, and you are the one who decides who, who can be cleaned from his guilt and who cannot just because you have a small ones you are better that's not doesn't make any difference because at the end of the day you have guilt and you did something wrong so doing wrong is what preventing you from being with god being with god look in the top of the wrong you're doing you reject even to accept the one who want to save you so now we have sin we do all our life and then God, he come to us and he says, I want to save you. You say to him, no, I don't want to believe in you. And then you are wondering why God will not take you to his heaven. And you say, this is not fair. You rejected. He asked you to come. Like, well, I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, witnessed. No, you witness already. Jesus. I witness for you. No, I, no, you witness Jesus speaking to me. You are witnessing to Jesus, my friend. I just told you about Jesus and you don't want to accept. So you cannot say to Jesus, I never heard of you. You did. I mean, um, no, no. I mean, um, like uh, seeing him. I, I did not uh, see. I did not see dwelling him dwelling among not, us. I, did not, I, did not I mean see, that, my friend. I did not, not see about him. the I did, gospel. I, like, I did not see him not in person too. Who said to you? I did. I, I did see him in person. I did not. But I see him every day, because each time I look at a human being, I see Christ in the front of me. For Jesus said, "I was hungry and you feeded me." I was a prisoner and you visited me. I was sick and you came to me. So Jesus told us that I am in all those people around you. Anyone who need help is Jesus. So when we see around us, we are witnessing to Jesus and we see Jesus. I was sick. I was a stranger. I was hungry. And you feed me. You take me. You take me in. I was a stranger and you take me in. So that is Jesus, my friend, and he is with us. So when we live with Jesus, we see Jesus, but if you don't want to see him, he is not there for you. You will never see him. It's like, you know, you have something beautiful in your backyard, but you never saw it. It's a small, tiny flower grow every year, but you never notice it. And one day you saw it, but it's there. It was there always. 
it's like you have somebody in your house somebody you think he's not one but then suddenly he die and then you wonder like what I'm missing how come I did not notice how wonderful this person is and this is what we do to ourselves when we want we go blind we decide to go blind I did not see Jesus no you saw Jesus he is every day around you every day he come to you but you don't want to see him when somebody give you a help somebody give you a hand somebody give you a love the love of your mother to you is the love of Jesus he is the one who bit put that in her you will see a cat taking care of a little babies and she is a cat she is just an animal you will see a fish protecting her babies she swallowed the fish inside her the small tiny babies inside her and she moved them from place to place it's amazing so my friend God is around us but we decide not to see God is love whatever you see love you are seeing Jesus my friend Uh, I don't know man I'm uh, scared actually I'm uh, shaking I don't know I'm I'm actually nervous uh, you're nervous because you are feeling the truth my friend you are feeling the truth in what I'm saying to you I'm saying to you the truth that Jesus is with us and he is everywhere but we don't want to see him because we decide to go blind me look, talking to you now me talking to you I is the love of the Jesus why, 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 I, want, uh, why I want to waste my time Hassan Hassan why I want to waste my time talking to you here we go I will go watch TV why I want to waste my this is the love of Jesus making me stay with you doing my best to help you otherwise there is no reason I don't know you you don't know I know me. okay so you say you don't see Jesus no he's there but if you don't want to see him you will not see him it's like you know somebody have a mother she always she come when he was a kid she cover him he grow up she feeded him she take care of him he gets sick she cry for him and he did not understand why he should love his mother well she cover you by love all her life she is willing to die for you yet you don't see it people they decide to be blind and then your mother or your father get old what we do we put them in a nursing house for old where is the love because you decide to be blind that those people who did all those things for me all their life spend their, their money their time their love their tears on me i dump them in a nursing house because i'm evil as if they are cat who retired so human being is a person that makes me sad actually yes that makes me sad too and that's why i'm talking about it so a human being when he want he turned to be an evil creature but he is the one who to blame himself not on the one else god he showed you love what you do it you return it in evil even to the most close people to you a woman she married you she trusted you she gave you your life all the time she is with you and now she is getting old you don't like how she look like you start cheating because you are evil so human being he do things and always he blame god for his evil he do it by choice he hurt others and then he says well if god want to stop evil he can stop it i'm not going to believe in god that is exactly what the devil he want from you he wants you to think in that direction. Yeah, I mean that's that's very deep. I I don't know, man. It's I invite you, my friend, to accept the Messiah. He is everywhere. We witness for him every day, and he witness for us too. You know, I am a I am a sinner. I am uh, nowhere uh, my perfect. My friend, I, I am uh, a I've, sinner too. Who I've, said to you? Who said to you, Christian Prince is better than you? I and I never said that. I never said I am better than you. This we are. I've all... done uh, wrong, uh, wrong things, My which friend, I really you, you regret see, in the past. Like, you are a good I'm person. Not... I can hear you. But your... I am. I can hear I your am... tears. I can hear you crying. You are a good person. This is why I am inviting you to accept the Messiah. You see, if you are a bad person, you will not be now feeling and shaking and crying like this. But because you are a good person, you have a very good heart, and that's why now the Messiah is making you feel that He wants you to come to Him, and He's asking you, please. Just give me your hand and you know you should do it because in your heart you know that you need him he do not need you still he wants he loves you so I am you know I will be happy really to see Hassan accepting the Messiah right now because he is a good person and I can tell
Maybe maybe you are even better than me, a lot better than me. I did not oh, cry. No, don't say you that. cry. You are crying. I'm not crying. See, you 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 feel your sin. I did not cry for my sin. I know I'm a sinner too, but you are crying. You, you are, know, you, uh, you have I'm, a better heart like than mine. I uh, I uh, I uh, uh, remember with my with my uh, with my family uh, members, I had like uh, fights and actually stupid things. Uh, they are not uh, worth it if I uh, if I think uh, uh, afterwards. Sometimes, my friend, I, I don't know. You see, I feel uh, I believe. guilty. Like I, uh, I believe now. Like why? Hmm. Why did I? I was so uh, superficial and. But you see, do you know why you are? Know, maybe. Do you know why yeah. you are feeling this? Because we spoke about the Messiah. The Messiah made you feel this way, and that's a very good thing. So look, speaking about the Messiah, me and you made us to come to the to reality check about what we do in our life and to feel our guilt and try to fix it so this is what the messiah will do to you he will be with you always and he will guide you and he will wake you up so being with the messiah is like having all the equipment you need to correct your life and to be a person you don't want to be before so accept the messiah today before it's too late my friend Life is very short. Me, I don't know. I might go to, to my to my living room and never come back uh, alive. Nobody knows. So accept the Messiah, for nobody is a clean, neither you, neither me. But he will cleanse us by his love. Not because we are good, but because of his love. His love is amazing. And that's why I say to you, when you are with the Messiah, you see love everywhere you go. A person, he smiles at you, this is the love of Jesus. Helping a woman, she is old, this is the love of Jesus. Helping somebody he needs your help is the love of Jesus. That is Jesus. He's everywhere. So if we practice that, we are really Christian in this earth. And the Christians is not a Christianity is not a religion. Christi Christianity is to live as Jesus. Nothing else. Okay, but the thing is, um, I was uh, uh, naive, you know. Uh, yeah. Nothing wrong with being naive, my friend. Uh, okay, it's being naive. I was naive. Back then. All of us were naive. All of us, and somehow we this, are naive. Uh, I mean, uh, back then I was really naive, but um, I came to know that that uh, that uh, that the people uh, lie so much. And I didn't know that. So because of that, I have uh, become uh, maybe... Um, uh, how do you say that? Uh, skeptical is that right? Like, yeah, you have a maybe reaction. You too have a, much. You have a reaction no because problem. all of the lies I didn't mm. know that people could be that people could lie so much. For example, about uh, Islam, uh, they say, uh, all those, uh, all those, uh, uh numerical miracles in the in the quran uh, those numbers for example uh, man is is uh, mentioned 23 times in right. the yeah all the quran. lies we know and all the lies women yeah. 23 times and everyone is clapping and uh, and so happy uh, me too like uh, i was there you know so Man, uh, all those uh, things, all those numerals, and then I came home one time, and then I, I check it myself in the Arabic Quran, and there is no match at all. Right, you know they lie. So I was, so I couldn't believe, like, how could someone make a video, uh, such a beautiful uh, video with beautiful music um graphics you know everything beautiful story everything put so much time in it and everything of it uh, is a lie so i became very okay uh, I will, furious i want to show you, know, you like and okay, lie after lie after lie so and not only muslims also uh, also atheists for example there is a there's a movie called uh, Zeitgeist, uh, 
uh, refuting uh, Christianity and I and all those uh, claims are false against Christianity totally made up and it has uh, mil uh, millions of uh, views and I feel like how is that possible you know so no it's possible actually actually made me actually so Hassan, uh, skeptical, Hassan. like Hassan, Hassan, listen. Actually, you know this is this is I mean? this is this is good, because you see, if we don't see the evil, we will not notice what is good. So it's like we have. Sorry, we, we, my uh, voice. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. You know, we have dark and we have day. If we don't have day, we will not notice what the difference between day and dark. So they do evil. Actually, at the end of the day, they are helping you, even when they do evil. Because if you did not see their evil. You will not be able to make decision about what's right. So even evil sometimes can be good for those who they decide to think. So I saw evil, and because I saw the evil, I rejected the evil. If they don't show me their evil, I will not know them. What Jesus said. I totally reject the evil. Totally. Like yeah. I am a I am a witness of all those lies. I can my friend name for you like Jesus so said, so many persons of many Jesus, religions who who lies yeah. including uh uh muhammad uh, muhammad uh, hijab mm. and and that uh, debate with uh, david wood like it's so very uh, embarrassing disgusting and, and very embarrassing laughable yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone yeah, clapping but you see, and it's, but you see it's, it's good. ridiculous but you see it's good he just helped you uh, muhammad hijab with his lies he made you he gave you a hand to help you to get out of Islam because you notice you, you as a Muslim that he is lying and this is not a true so look what he did he thought he is defending the evil of Islam by doing evil lies and then what happened and instead of making people believe in Islam Muslims left Islam what do you want more so you see how even evil sometimes work it's against itself always evil hurt itself they think they are hurting you but the fact they are hurting themselves so Evil can sometimes be useful. If not evil, I will, how I will know what is the good of Christ if there is no evil? What how I will know what is sore if there is no sweet? How I will know what is pain if oh, we never have pain? So always there is uh, uh, you know things happen for a reason, and those reason can end in very good for you. That's why now today you are who you are. So don't worry about the evil the evil is there i agree yes but uh, uh, i mean like because of that uh, i want to be 100 percent sure about uh, new religion if i want to accept it like christianity it's a it's a beautiful religion i have to admit uh, until now and i am uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, busy uh, almost every day with it, uh, learning uh, new things, and uh, I learn uh, many new things. You know about uh, Jesus, the Trinity. I know uh, actually much. You know about the beliefs. So, so why you don't accept uh, Jesus, my friend? You are saying Christianity is beautiful, Christ is beautiful. So why? What is missing? Why don't accept Jesus? I'm just uh, um, thinking uh, also about uh, Hinduism, for example. It it sounds uh, strange, but uh, it is uh, also beautiful for me when I no, actually, uh, look at that. Like Hinduism, many, many no, Hinduism actually, many, with my respect to the Hindu people, I, I love them really. But Hinduism is not uh, not a good belief because simply there's many bad practice. As an example, Hinduism believe in uh, Levels of uh, of mankind, like there's uh, there's uh, there's levels of in society divide society into poor and caste rich. Uh, system or how do you call that? Well, you they, you know, it's a, it's part of the belief. Caste. Like there's a there is a holy uh, level and there's the down level. Mm -hmm. So if you are a person who is your father is a was a garbage guy, you have to be a garbage guy too. And if you are a Brahma, you are the top. So uh, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, one of the practice of the Hindus was. When a person he died, they burn his wife with him as an example. The reason they don't do it no more because when the preach occupy uh, India, uh, the missionary Christian missionaries they force the law that 
that's very bad practice imagine a man, a man he is he, he died why you want to burn his wife with him alive so there's many bad practice uh, come mm -hmm. with Hindu so it might be spiritual religion somehow I didn't know that but about that uh, caste uh, system uh, I know that there are uh, Hindus uh, that have uh, uh, debunked it like uh, saying that it is it is uh, not from Hinduism from the religion okay, but okay hold on you see a society. society I don't know but, maybe but, but they let's, are let's go lying this. maybe so it's a society who uh, before before uh, before the bridge go there and etc so where is the religion to correct that if this is wrong where is the priest who they are ruling the countries and Hinduism is controlling yeah. the country for centuries before any Christians go there where is the priest why did not do anything I don't know maybe uh, okay when, maybe, uh, when somebody uh, someone friend, in the, when somebody 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 burning a woman and she is alive where is the priest to say this is wrong don't do that if it's not it's not from the religion so we can say they do that really burning people well I, I for me I, I am not a person who study Hinduism but I saw many article about it that they used mm -hmm. to do that before the bridge occupied them that's and really uh, I am sick. not the one I'm not the one that's who witnessed true. it I cannot say it's true but I uh, I don't believe they have a reason to to lie about it but you know everything is possible however I learned that in in India there's no justice and in Hinduism as an example I was I was in Asia and I saw uh, 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 many evil things in Asia happening and the and the uh, Buddha priest walking by as nothing happened as look you don't care you know like nothing so uh, so you spend your day sitting doing yoga and talking too much about peace then you see a fight you walk next to it you don't do nothing uh, you know you, you go to Thailand they speak too much about God and being good and then the country became a land of prostitution what is the priest I mean why this is happening why nobody is guiding people that this is wrong why nobody see it as a bad thing so they speak too much about you see we are talking about places where religion is very strong and in charge not where like it is a socialist country where like in America there's a there's a freedom uh, Christian church have no control of anything people do whatever they wish but in those countries priests have in control they control everything even the king himself he have to keep the priest happy otherwise they can take him off so where are they where are they those no, but, uh, where is the good religion uh, those are uh, uh, people no 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 i'm talking about religion now i'm talking the teaching the teaching which we can not uh, blame uh, no no no, no, no. i'm not i'm not for... blaming i'm not mm. blaming no no i'm saying if the good teaching is not to fix a society so what is the point of this teaching if it's not good if it's good where is this good of teaching I don't know. okay so when i if it what, is uh, true then okay uh, i agree but uh, i don't know what the what the uh, books say of the mm. hinduism and buddhism well, no, I, I saw i, uh, I, saw, a doc I, I saw a documentary there is a temple where people worship rats i mean come on so uh, you know in, in well <laughs> yeah so you know people go astray. really yeah yeah you can go and search so Hindu Hinduism is not a, a like I I don't think it's even one religion they have many many gods and stories and fictions and etc and uh, uh, I'm not too much knowledgeable about uh, uh, Hinduism so I don't like to talk about it because that will make me look like a fool uh, trying to speak of knowledge you don't know uh, yeah yeah that's uh, but good but, but what I know um, but what I know that it's not really good for me to compare it even close to Christianity like you know the Mahamata Gandhi he says the Christian is not the like of their Christ okay that's a wise thing so why the Mahamata Gandhi did not do something to his people why why he why Gandhi family as an example they are the top of family and people are dying from hunger so this be good but they do bad they talk too much about how good they are and how wonderful they are and etc but in the same time it's empty words you know empty words the talk is cheap well okay yeah uh, uh, Hinduism uh, those uh, 
uh, avatars are uh, strange. Uh, for example, those uh, those uh, uh, gods. Uh, yeah, it's a it's one, a uh, it's a collection of fiction story legions, and you make one as a trunk like an uh, like an uh, uh, elephant, and it is really weird. <laughs> To look, uh, you know, uh, those, it, you know those who practice the vision, four arms, and <laughs> those who practice the fish division in the society, yeah. they are following God, and this God, he don't have a problem with it. That there is somebody, he is from this level society, he cannot marry from this level of society. The one who is poor, he have to stay poor forever, and the one who is a maharaja, we carry him in our head, and God, he want that. That's not true. All right, so. We, uh, uh, God is about justice, about love. Love your enemy. And what what those religions teach is not really, have nothing to do with love. You know, uh, I, I saw once uh, a video on YouTube. Uh, mm -hmm. A bunch of girls fighting. And there is a priest, a Buddha priest, who is shaved just next to them. As if he saw nothing. I mean, you are a priest. People will listen to you. What about you? Ask them to stop. Four or five girls are beating one girl. You know. And actually, mm. I saw that in 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 uh, like in even in in uh, not only in YouTube. I saw it in person. You know, I saw such a same kind of the same fight. And the priest, he was doing nothing. I mean, what kind of priest you are? So you go, you spend your uh, five hours sitting in your ass doing yoga. Saying you're you worshiping God, and then you see a fight in the front of you, and you don't do anything to stop it. And people they obey you, they listen to you. People they walk and they see a Buddha priest, they bow down in the front of him, and he put his hand in the top of them, and he say whatever word. So the people respect you. Do something. Use your respect to spread peace. So they say things, they do something different. In mm -hmm. Christianity, we don't care for a priest. There's nothing that's called the priest. The priest is the one who follows Jesus. If you don't follow Jesus, you can wear all that kind of clothes. You can wear the clothes of a bishop. You can be, but you can be the devil in the same time. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. But the one who don't do the will of the father, he don't belong to me. So you can be a person who claim to be a priest, but you can be the priest of the devil. And this is why I see those are as if they are priests of the devil, because from their fruits you shall know them, not from their clothes, not from their names. So if you want to judge, I believe, my friend, judge the fruits of the founder, and then go and check the followers. But don't I judge. agree? Uh, Jesus uh, uh, didn't uh, kill uh, anyone, neither the uh, apostles, uh, according to history. Uh, the first uh, 300 years of the uh, expanse of Christianity was uh, was non-violent. I mean, uh, I mean from the uh, from the Christians' uh, uh, side. But uh, Christians were uh, persecuted. Christians themselves. So that is what I could find about history. Okay. So uh, until now, yeah, I find maybe. Uh, Christianity that uh, makes the most sense. It's a beautiful religion, um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe well, my you friend, have I, other uh, I, other things. I will, uh, I will, uh, I will, do. I will I do this. I will do this. I don't want to make late for you. <laughs> yeah, no, I will or, do yeah, this. You I know, mean, anytime, I, I don't want to. Anytime you feel free, you want to say you want to learn something about the Messiah. Call me. I will take your call. All right. But uh, just ask me before, because if we are talking about something, we need to finish it first, and I will be happy to. No. Help you. But I want you, I want you, uh, uh, to do the following, my friend. Don't use your logic to look for God. Use God logic. You're a wise uh, person, like really. Uh, I have. Uh, I'm. I'm actually really, uh, really happy that I uh, that I uh, called you uh, now, because now. Uh, you say uh, uh, you say about uh, logic yeah it is uh, true uh, uh, I haven't uh, uh, thought uh, uh, about it uh, yeah you was, you, like was... This. You, you, you are you're right but okay uh, uh, continue use uh, the I logic <laughs> use the logic for Christ for God he loved the world he sent his only begotten son that is the logic for God he loved the world he loves you 
and he loves me he loves us all that is the logic so everything mm -hmm. is done because he loved us not because he wants you to love him he's seeking something from you he seek nothing from you he, he loves you he loves you before you love him so this is the logic he loves you and then how you return love shouldn't you love the one who loves you so for God he loved the world he sent his only begotten son to save you and then if you say I'm not going to accept you don't blame yourself only for not being saved don't blame anyone that is the logic he loves you already he told you that and then he gave you freedom to be with him or not to be and then you say I don't want to be with you so you blame who no one blame yourself so I say to you my friend don't hesitate to accept the love of Christ because he's not inviting you to hate anyone he is not inviting you to hate your family as the Quran says in chapter 9 verse 23 he is not saying to you you have to be an enemy to everybody he is inviting you to love everybody and to accept his love so love is the key for all things in this earth if they if we have love there's no hungry if we have love there's no homeless if we have love there's no war if we have love there's no rape there's no crime there's no killing there's no theft there's love and love mm. is about yes. giving not about taking so if everybody gives everybody live if everybody, everybody take everybody die so human being when he practiced the opposite of teaching of Christ they are seeking death they are seeking the end of this earth they will destroy it everybody want to take America want to take from China China want to take from America Russia want to take from China the, the Muslim want to take from the Christian the, everybody want to take from everybody and then we end taking our ourselves to hell we made this earth a hell for everybody became selfish following the devil so Christ is the only answer for he is teaching us how to live not only how to die for him because somebody some people say you are dying for him the fact he is asking you to to live to enjoy your life to be a human to learn how to love he, your death will not your death you see he died for you he don't want you to die for him Islam he wants you to die for him so you go to heaven our God he died for us so when we say this that means it's extreme love to the point he is willing to die to show us how much he loves us so the Messiah my friend is not a religion is a person and this person is nothing but love and if you if you are seeking a better life seek love for God is love and nothing else so again I say to you before you leave and I'm not going to ask you again for today I invite you right now to accept the Messiah as your Savior but what do you say well you know okay I witness now yeah um, Christianity is um, the most religion that makes sense and it's beautiful and every day I am uh, learning new things about it so I think if I continue then I will uh, uh, come to it right uh, so, but do, you, do you accept do you accept the Messiah today don't say yes unless you are convinced don't say yes say yes only if you are truly from your heart believe we, we, we don't want hypocrite people who they are like the same as Muslims yeah, do say Shahada I'm, I'm just uh, trying to be honest yes yes I, I totally agree but uh, can I uh, talk uh, uh, with you also in uh, in, uh, in a private maybe uh, one time uh, no I problem no problem no problem my friend I prefer always in public so people they can get the benefit of my talk and your talk yes yes but there are some things I don't know I don't want all right no problem I can't no problem say we, them but we, we, uh, see, we see sometime we can talk me and you and I want to say thank you Hassan for calling me I appreciate your time and your call and I will pray for you from my heart that the Lord like will please be... uh, can you once uh, you know I, I'm I want to discuss something like uh, I wanna I wanna I wanna uh, hug you actually I I uh, like you know there's so much hate in this uh, world but I don't know maybe you we are can my, my, my you are my brother in the future maybe you are my never, brother but... you are my brother and I I can see that you are coming to Christ and the Lord Himself. Oh, will sorry the Lord himself for your patience. You. you know, uh, yesterday I 
uh, I witnessed uh, those uh, stupid uh, 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 colors, and you are really uh, uh, courageous and uh, patient. So I don't want to, yeah, you know. But if you if you can call me uh, uh, one time, maybe sure, in sure. private, I've oh, I'll, I'll, I will. I will, Hassan. Sure. Okay. One, uh, will that be then? Uh, your or can I text you and Skype about that? Yeah, you know, we we, we will see, like, uh, but not today, you know, maybe in, maybe tomorrow or the day. Not after. today. Yeah, but then we can. Yeah, sure, okay. sure, no problem. Can... Thank you. Hassan. Okay, thank, thank you, you uh, very much, and uh, until uh, next time, then uh, yeah, I All won't right. right. too too long. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you, Hassan. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, man. Thanks. All right, guys. Let us play to to pray to our brother here. Hassan, who left Islam, but he is struggling to uh, yet to, to make a decision to accept the Messiah. But I see him there. I see his coming. I see his going in the right direction. And I believe very soon he is going to be a child of the Lord. Uh, you became a Christian or you don't, I get nothing from it. That's your business. You accept him, you don't accept him. I got nothing from it. My throat is dry. I have a very bad uh, ear infection. Yet, I'm here. Hoping that maybe the Lord, he will help us to help somebody who want to help himself. Because at the end of the day, it's you seeking salvation. I got nothing from it. So, uh, uh, always always try to understand Christianity and not to be a naive like those people they say to you does it make sense that Jesus he will die for us yes it makes sense that's that is called love but because you are evil inside you you cannot see how much loving it is when somebody die for somebody is a joke or this is a hero what happened to the world today that if somebody die for us we make fun of him that is the evil. So what it does not make sense to the Muslims, it makes absolutely a lot of sense for those who have an open eyes and they want to see. If Muhammad, he loves you, and if Allah, he loves you, why he asked you to go and kill for him? What about he kill us? Kill them. Allah, he punished them by your hands. What about Allah, he punished us by his hands? Or maybe Allah, He is short of hands. He need your hands. So this this cult, Islam, and many other cults, they are f founded to use you. You are being used and abused, and you think still you are th serving God and you are a good person. And that's the whole idea. They make you, they transform you into a criminal, but yet they make you believe that you are a good guy. Look, I did not kill them. It's Allah who killed them. But you are a killer. Oh, no, no. Allah, he told in the Quran, uh, you killed them not, but Allah killed them. You slow them not, but Allah slow them. You are not the one who shoot the bullet. It is Allah who shoot the bullet. So Allah, now he made you feel that you are clean. You are a good person. It's Allah who killed them. The fact you are fooling yourself. And this is the whole point of this cult. Is to make you fool. So I go and kill, and then I may say to myself, I did not kill them. It's God He killed them. Oh, what about we go and rape some women? Oh, it's not me who raped them. Allah He raped them. What about we go and steal some money? Oh, it's not me who stole the money. It's Allah who stole the money. So look what this God He made you feel guilt free, even though guilt is covering you from the top to the to the toes. It's a pure evil. Love, my friend, is the key. And we don't have it, sadly. People, they want to live hate. And those who have love, they make fun of them. Actually, they call them stupid.
they call you stupid when you are a person with love this is what they want you to believe today if a girl she is not sleeping around they make fun of her they say she is stupid she's something wrong with her if a man is not sleeping with women around him they say something wrong with him huh did not sleep with women and yet now until now so imagine what happened to this earth if a woman she is wearing decent clothes not showing her panty they will make fun of her so show your panty you're a good person get naked you are a nice person everything you know the whole world trying to trying to make you believe in the wrong and they make you believe in the wrong to be right there's many voices around us and everybody want to put his poison in our head but there's one thing we need always to examine What those people want from us and what kind of a fruit they have and what they will provide like you know in USA they want uh, what they call uh, socialism and socialism have a good, a good title in the top it says uh, people are equal but it's a lie those who they are leading us into socialism they are billionaires so how somebody he is a billionaire like George Soros. He supports socialism. What about giving the money you have to people around you? They are always driven by agenda. They try to fool you. They trap you by your needs. You have a pain. They use your pain. What? What? what what's your problem? Huh? We give you all the promises you want, but in fact, you will get none of them. somebody said socialism is equal to judaism what does that have to do with that i mean that is strange <laughs> lord have mercy too much beer in the morning hmm? judaism is equal to social socialism why how this happened that's weird <laughs> anyway so you have to be careful from what people they say you know people sometime sometime an idiot he want to teach you wisdom sometime a donkey he want to teach you how to be a horse but ask him first if you are if you know how to make me a horse what about you make yourself first a horse you see suddenly an ad in YouTube a woman she is saying my name is Michelle and today I want to teach you how to become a millionaire and she is doing advertising for a company which means she is poor what about starting with yourself a guy want to sell you a booklet if you buy it you will become a billionaire yet he is poor so the you know evil is around us and everybody want to take a bite of you but only if you allow them this is why the Bible says you have to be vigilant you have to be careful they will come to you in a close of a, of a, of a sheep but the fact they are wolves all right somebody talking about wife beating let us see the comment could you please <clears throat> let us see the comment could you please translate the wife beating verse how it really is okay no problem we go to chapter 4 verse number 34 And let us do it today, and not only I translate to you, let us try to be smart and how to read verses in the Quran. You see, Muslims, when they translate things for us, remember they are Muslims, so we are seeing the Quran from somebody 
he been taught it's okay to lie in order to convert people to Islam not a decent person who believe in religion and God Islam is different so let us read together this is a translation of who let us see translation of who we are reading this is a translation of Hilali and Khan men are the protectors and maintainers of women because Allah has made one of them to excel the other and because they spend on them from their means and their property okay so from the beginning we see something wrong you see I have no problem to believe that the man have responsibility of the house to be a man I mean there's things the women cannot do and there's things the man cannot do so the women in the house should be the women in the house who can do things women can do and you know these days uh, women can do things really because life changed before everybody is well, I mean, there's no companies they cannot work she cannot be an engineer today they have different specialty different opportunity etc uh, so women before it was only a household lady she would stay home taking care of children which which is a big job by the way actually it's more harder than any other job uh, so life has changed however why a man is in charge according to the Quran because they spend their money on them and that is the logic of a prostitution so because I spend money on you I am in charge of you what if about what about if the women she spent her money on me can she beat me can she be charged on me Muhammad he used to work for Khadija can Khadija beat him the one who said he wanted to uh, translate my book to Tamil you can text me in Skype my friend and we will talk about it so Look at the look at the funny logic. So Muhammad here is preparing us to understand why the man he can beat his wife and why? Because Allah He made the man excel. Number one. Number two, he spent money on you. Like hello. I mean, why you don't want to understand? This guy he spent money on you, but that's mean. Islam look at the women as if she is a whore. I spend money I expect a service back and what is a service what is the service will get will be given to me it's in the rest of the verse therefore see here the, see what I'm saying therefore so what Muhammad is preparing for you is why and what for and what is the reason so therefore therefore what because he spent money on you therefore righteous women are the one who is obedient so I spend money on you. You are my waitress now. Bring this. Do this. This is the logic of Muhammad. I spend money on you. In return, you are my slave. Obedience. And obedience here in which way? I mean, I don't mind, by the way. Uh, the Bible teaches us that the woman, the man is the head of the house. But look at the logic. In the Bible, the man is the head of the house, but the man, he have to give himself to his wife the same as a Christ, he gave himself to the church, which means the women in Christianity is equal to the church. The man is the head of the house, the same as a Christ is the head of the church, but the Christ, he gave himself to the church. And this is what the man should do. He is there to do a sacrifice, not to be God of the women. And there's a huge difference so Muhammad saying to you because the women you spend money on her now we can order her and she have to obey me and what else what if she don't obey me we beat them and here you see in the translation the Muslim when they lie this right away they start adding between two bracket first and second and third okay what is the first if you see ill conduct like what hey my wife makes some tea for me. Oh, why you are slow? I scream at you and you answer me back. I'm busy. That is rebellion. Ill conduct. 
some Muslim they lie they say this is about cheating if a woman she cheat in Islam if she is married the punishment is a stoning to death they lie to you this is not about cheating a bunch of liars so if you see ill conduct but, but by the way in Quran it doesn't say that it says those who you may fear that they will do rebellions like they answer you as an example you say something to them this they answer you back you fear they did not do it yet let me show you something if we change the translation have you ever heard of a Quran of a book if we change the translator we change the Quran that's happened always in Islam because all of them they are lying this is Hilali translation let us go to the front translator uh, let us choose anyone uh, Biktar Muhammad Biktar look we choose Muhammad Biktar the translation is different men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel in the other because they spend of their property to support the women so good women are obedient guardian secret in which Allah has guarded as those whom you fear they did not do it yet you fear I mean imagine the madness you fear their rebellion like uh, hey wife make some coffee for me she didn't do it right away ah uh -huh. she is hesitating to do it she is like going slow she don't like it she don't feel like oh okay you know you are lazy I'm doing I'm not here you're a slave uh, so I fear rebellion so what I would do admonish them and punish them in bed apart and scourge them the fact admonish them and punish them in bed is not really ac accurate Fa'iduhunna is correct to say okay we admonish them and we but in, in which which way in like we school them don't be stupid don't worry you're doing I am your husband you have to answer me you have to obey me this is what it works it's not about uh, we have a discussion uh, uh, my wife please no admonish them in the way I have to school you and I have to put you back to your size you are here just a woman and I am the man and you have to obey me and then if still that does not work you jail them in the room not you stay away from their bed that's a lie وَهْجُرُوهُنَّ فِي المضاجع. المضاجع is their bedrooms so leave them in their bedrooms is a this is a second penalty is a jail jail them in their rooms don't let them associate with anyone like they saw they in jail they call it like once uh, what they call it uh, like when they put one person in one uh, cell alone for for long as a penalty so he gets so crazy this is exactly what we're talking about and then and beat them here you will see there's no first there's no second and it scourge them the madness and the lies went so far to the point some of them they say to you the word daraba means stay away from them already the Quran said stay away from them jail them in their room and the word daraba not uh, 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 stay away from them the Arabic is so clear and not a single scholar ever in the history of Islam took it as stay away from them the word daraba daraba is to hate something by something Scourge them and if they obey you seek not punishment against them okay so what the point of scourging them is to force them by violence to obey you and what is the reason and what is the logic of Allah because they spend money on you so the man he spent money on the women so she became his property and she is like a cow I you know you are mine I spend my money on you and Allah he said because of that for that reason as you see and because they spend of their property so in Islam when when the women she get married she is not really getting married she is signing a contract of employment and the contract is as the following I pay the worry for you 
and I support you, food, clothing, housing, in return, you obey me, and if you don't obey me, I am allowed to beat you until you obey me. So each time, <coughs> each time you disobey me, I will beat you up. Uh, my friend, I don't want anyone to call Muslims donkeys here. If you do that, I'm going to uh, uh, ban you from the room, from the chat. Don't call Muslims donkeys. If somebody is acting like a donkey, call him a donkey. And there is many people that think they are not donkeys, but the fact they are donkeys. Is somebody doing stupid something? They say, okay, what, what you are saying, Muslim donkeys? What does that mean? Uh, is that going to help the Muslims? Is that going to make them not uh, what you think? What about the Western? There's a lot of donkeys between them too. There's donkeys everywhere. And there's many of us, they think they are horses, but they are donkeys. So let us, you know, let us be nice. Always, always, from their fruits, you shall know them, individuals. There's people everywhere, they are good, they are bad. So, it's not his fault that he's born of a Muslim family. It's not your. Uh, it's not. It's not because you are good. You are born of a uh, in a in a different world. You are lucky. If you are born in Pakistan, you will be like them. Anyway, so the Quran, the way the Quran try to justify things, is showing you how evil this book is. He didn't, you know, you, you will see that uh, when the Muslim, they use the word uh, marriage. What marriage mean? What marriage? Is, is, is there's any Muslim want to call me? Any Muslim want to tell me what is marriage? There's no marriage in Islam. And not only that, the Quran went so far and Muhammad, he went so far allowing muslim men to rent women and not only that they use the word rent with no shame you see i'm not saying i am saying they rent they muslims they agree that their god allowed them to rent women have you ever heard of a religion believe in renting women and it is the teaching of Allah and that explain what is behind the mentality of beating the women who you rented look this is a Muslim website I just open it and the guy he came in my face yeah, they have a new project what about beating women all right islam legalize muta and muta is what is about hiring women for sex not marrying women muhammad he legalized sexual activities without marriage and he called it marriage so if you go down a little bit you will see the muslims they are explaining to us what Islam legalizes. Read carefully with me. In some work, a special term is applied to women who participate on muta. Muta means pleasure. Musta'ajara, translation, or rented women. You believe it? We have God, who his name is Allah. And his prophet is Muhammad. He is allowing you, educating you about how to rent a woman. So there is no marriage in Islam, it's a rental. The difference between the muta and other rental, which Muslims they call it marriage, that this one is short. This one is short, the other one is not. 
this one is limited for a date is already known before we started so before you go and sleep with this woman she know already for how long you will stay with her because you announce that to her you say i want to stay i want to be married to you for two hours yet they call it marriage and i will pay you etc ten dollars a return you take off your panty and yet muhammad call it marriage the other kind of marriage is the same the different is the time in the other marriage or sexual contract it's in the hand of the man anytime he feel like he don't want you no more he said to you, you are divorced and you are gone here he do not need to say to you are divorced and there is no surprise which means he tell you already in the front i want you for two hours when the two hours is up what they call it marriage is up so don't fool yourself and believe that islam believe in marriage this is not a marriage it's a sexual contract of living together between a man and the women the women she is the employee and the man is the employer and because he is the employer he have rights over you and the rights is when he asks you to take off your panty you take it immediately and this is why muhammad as you see my friend i'm not making things up muta is a consider is a kind of rental because in general man's basic aim is the kind of marriage in this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women in return of his enjoyment the women receive certain amount of money or a property let us go back to the quran quran say the same because they spend their and their property on you in return he can beat you it's all about money the one who have money is in control So when somebody says uh, she is going to marry a Muslim, you're not marrying a Muslim, you're fooling yourself. This is not marriage. This is a sexual contract, employment. He employ you. This is why you see Muslims, by the way, it's very easy for them to marry anyone because there's no marriage. You know, it was just one word. He got rid of you. He don't believe you. The word wife for them, it's just about the women. He's allowed to have sex with her. She's nothing important. And he have the right to have four of them in the same time. Four of them. So if you sit in the couch and you come back, you go to the kitchen, you came back, you find the three other women sitting in the couch in the top of your husband, don't complain. It is his right. He's not cheating. And not only that, he can exchange those women every day as many as he wish uh, if you have money. He can marry you for two hours, divorce you, marry new women for two hours, divorce you, four women at the time. So there's no marriage. Unless you are a person who believes this is a marriage, this is up to you. While in Christianity, the Bible says that the man he leave his family and he he he, he go to with his wife and they became one echad. The Quran says the man he will marry four women, have sex with them, and he can get rid of them as fast as saying a word. You are divorced. You see how easy it is and actually now the Muslims are even allowed to divorce you by a text message you believe it if you search in Google divorce by SMS He divorced her via text message several times. He was angry. <laughs> I am an American. I have a question about my marriage. I got married three years ago. Very ignorant about talaq. So it looked like this is a victim of Islam. 
and how many times you uh, your spouse uh, 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 to say it and when you are a spouse uh, to say it somebody told me that I am supposed to say it three times in order to get divorce with someone and in my mind I thought you were supposed to say it three time or one sitting one sitting in order to divorce your spouse first time I said it was uh, uh, with text message and this is was when my wife was in India I can I cannot exactly so he's an Indian Muslim I cannot exactly remember why I texted her guys he don't even remember why he told her you are divorced text her you are divorced he sent her a text message and I text her twice Talik and also I cannot remember if I intended to divorce her or not <laughs> let us go to the answer the divorce issues in writing or via email or text messages count as such as long the, as the intention to divorce is a present so if your intention really to divorce and you mean it that's it she is divorced have you believe in such a <laughs> what is, so what is the marriage I mean, what kind of marriage? I can send a text message to a woman. I married her. Say you are divorced. I said, Talik. That's it. It's over. No court. There's no need. That's it. I said, divorce. You are divorced. I mean, even boyfriend and girlfriend, it's harder for them to finish it. A woman, maybe she have 10 kids from him. You, you kid her out of her house by saying you are divorced and by text message. So when you marry a Muslim, you are not marrying. This is not a marriage. This is not even a boyfriend. The guy even don't remember why he divorced her. Because it's a joke. He got angry from you. He threatened you. Uh, you are divorced. Oh, now you are homeless. It's a threat. It's a it's a terrorism. So women, she will never feel secure in her house. I remember a, a Muslim woman. She said to my mother, she, my mom, she was cooking, and this woman, she come to help her in, in the kitchen. She's a Muslim. She said to her, you know, you are you are lucky, you know, you guarantee that you will eat from your food. My mom, she thought like she maybe she needs some money, etc. Said, what's wrong? Said no, 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 it's nothing wrong. But I'm talking about like you know, like you are not feeling your husband. You will get angry from you and call you. Says you are divorced and you will not eat from your food. You know, and she is very sad because this is what happened to Muslim women. She is not sure she will eat from the food she is cooking because he might any second get angry from somebody somewhere, and he call her. He says you are divorced. Get out. I don't want you. Or you call your husband in the wrong time. He's angry from somebody. He said, don't call me again. You are divorced. That's it. It's over. The women she is cooking from the food she will not eat from it she have to leave she was looking at my mom saying you are lucky you know you are for sure you will eat from the food you are eating imagine how much insecurity they have this is why muslim women when they get married if we can call it marriage they try their best to save money from the behind the husband every few days she needs something oh we need to change the curtain oh the kid he put uh, uh, even they split in purpose you know they damage the couches the, the furniture because she want to be sure he spend all his money because if he save money he will have a new wife so the women she would do her best to keep the man bankrupt because a muslim man he get rich he go and buy a new brand new wife younger one so what the muslim women she do she try her best to suck all the money he have she make any excuse because this is the only way she can keep him home he got money he will get a new wife he got more money he will get the third wife he got more money he will get the fourth and after he got the fourth he kicked the last one which was the old, like the, the, the older one because she became old now and then he get the brand new one 
so what they do they do their best to keep them poor and not only that they save money from their back because they, he might kick them anytime so she said to you oh today I need to uh, I spend $100 but in fact she spent 20 because she's saving with her family from you from your behind your back because she doesn't know you might kick her anytime and this is the reality my friend and look this guy he is divorcing his wife but yet he do not know even why by sending a text message this is not a marriage marriage is based on a value that we we became united in the front of God based on love based on unity not based that you are serving me and I own you and I can get rid of you show you approve that she spent 100 that's very easy for a woman to do she can give you all the receipt you want and then after you check them out she return them <laughs> I mean, how easy is that? <laughs> and you know, imagine you live in a house, but you cannot even trust your own husband or your wife. What kind of life it is? All right. A person want to cheat will cheat. You see, cheating is very easy, and this is one of the one of the way of cheating. Cheating by money, cheating by lying, cheating by doing things in the wrong, cheating by sleeping around. A, a person want to cheat? A woman or a man, they will cheat. You, there's no way you can hold them. There's a story in Saudi Arabia. There's a Muslim who is very, very, very conservative. He don't allow his wife to see anyone. Nobody. She don't go out. She is not allowed to open the door for anyone. He have a, he have a bars in his windows. He have a, a, ga a gate from uh, from steel in his door. He he locked the key. Nobody have the key. There's no phone. She can't talk to anyone. And the only time anyone can come home to visit her, even from her family, is when he is there. That's it. Six months. A woman. She come to the door. She knock at the door. The guy who opened the door. See, the women come only when the husband is home. He opened the door. And he see a woman. Because he's a, a decent person, supposedly. So he called his wife. Honey, a woman, uh, uh, a woman, she is here. The woman, she comes, she take her to her room. Because she's a woman. I mean, come on. Six months, this woman come only when the husband is home, never when he is not. And the man, he like that. Here we go, his wife. Okay, she got somebody to visit her, a woman, when he is home. Perfect. And his wife, she is not complaining. And one day, his sister, the sister of the husband, she come to visit and the husband he said to his sister oh, go uh, inside the bedroom because uh, my wife she have her friend there the wife she went there because she's a woman she can enter the room six months the guy he is even making tea for them look how nice he is supposedly because he want his wife not to see anyone as long as she's doing that, okay, I will make tea for you. You have your friend, stay, stay there. I will make tea for you and I'll bring it to your door. He looked at the door and she cannot get in because there's a woman inside. Haram, haram, brother. The woman, she comes, she takes the coffee and the tea and she get it in and the fruits. After six months, his wife, his, uh, his, his sister, she came to visit him. And because she's a woman, she can go to the bedroom. But when she went to the bedroom, she found a boyfriend having sex with the wife. Six months, a guy is coming to his house wearing burqa. Six months. A man wearing burqa, the stupid Abdul, he opened the door for him. He make tea for him. He make coffee for him. And he say, honey, do you need anything? She say, no, honey, I'm fine. Honey, are you okay? I hear some noise. No, don't worry, we are fine. 
He never spoke to her because it's haram. The voice of the woman is haram. He cannot even talk to her. Like, ask her, who are you? Let us hear if the voice is the voice of a woman. But it's not haram. It's haram, brother. I'm a decent Muslim. Six months, he is having sex with his wife in his house, and he is in the house. And he is the stupid. He is making coffee and tea. But how you will know she is wearing burqa? Or he, actually. So here we go. You close the doors, you put bars, you lock the door. There's no phone. She can't see the word. Still, she can cheat. So burqa will not prevent cheating. Actually, burqa is the best way to cheat because your wife, she can walk with a stranger in front of you and you will not know it's her. How you will know? How you will know? It's impossible. Which one is your wife? Hmm? Which one of them is your wife? <laughs> How you will know? Madness. Actually, even in the in the old uh, in the Old Testament, you will see where it says that they thought she is a hooker because she was wearing a burqa. Because in the old days, uh, women who they wear burqa, they do it so nobody will know who they are. So they cover themselves so nobody will know. Anyway, and it's still, by the way, we cannot judge Islam by this, uh, Burqa, I mean. We judge Islam by the teaching of Muhammad and Muhammad himself and the God of Muhammad. Because at the end of the day, people, they do. People, they cheat in everywhere. There's people who claim to be Christian, they cheat. People who claim to be Jewish, uh, Hindus, Buddhas, people, they cheat. But Muhammad himself is a cheater. And here is the irony. If the if the teacher himself is a cheater, so what we can complain about? Nothing. Do we have any Muslim want to say something to us? Are you live streaming while open the studio door? What does that mean? What studio door? What do you mean studio door? I'm a guy, he called me here liar. Okay, he can call me liar. You can call me whatever you want. Feel free, my friend. Call as much as you wish. That will not change the fact that you cannot refute me. I don't know, Jeff. I don't know what they're talking about. But there is, you know, maybe ISIS, they kidnap them, slave them. I don't know. If there is any Muslim? We have 13 dislike. That's me. We have 13 Muslims at least watching. The Spanish book is still wrong. Are you serious? I thought they fixed it already. What are you talking about? I will take a look at that because I, uh, as I know, they, they fixed it from a long time ago. Maybe you need to refresh your cookies. Hey, hold on, let me see. Are you talking about the new one or the old one, the first one?
Let us see. Uh, the new one uh, look like they do that all this mistake so I need to call them again I mean very all right I will call them and check it out yeah they did the same mistake for the old one for some reason the Spanish they end in the closing section <laughs> good you told me I did not notice all right <clears throat> uh -oh. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Anyway, I think we are done for today. Uh, and let us hope that if i can go live again afternoon but i don't think so because i have things to do i will if not then guys maybe enter tomorrow so i want to say thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you don't forget to download the video immediately after we finish it take maybe 20 minutes for it to be ready before youtube have it all loaded always when we stay more than two hours youtube it take longer youtube shows only two hours the last two hours we did so if we stayed more than two hours, just wait for 15, 20 minutes until all the video load. So you can watch it all and you can download it all. All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope to see you soon again. And with this, we say Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.